surely whites can do more. They need to build bridges. They, they can do more. But there, there's an element in black society which still try to keep recrimination about the past very much alive, which misuses it for political purposes and political advantage. I'm not saying the problems caused by apartheid are over. They need to be addressed. That's why I say I do support affirmative action. I do support black economic empowerment in a balanced way. But I don't support whites being targeted now and Indians being targeted and coloreds, people of mixed origin, being targeted by government policies because they're not black. I'll give you an example. The ANC government has a policy of representativity in the civil service. Colored officers in the prison services in Cape Town got a letter, you will not be further promoted in this province because you are overrepresented in the officer's ranks. It's a new form of racial discrimination which is threatening to enter the picture. So while whites can do more, there are also others who are guilty of actually fomenting continued racism in South Africa. In the constitution which we negotiated, the central goal was we want to become a non-racial state, non-sexist as well, in which there will be no form of discrimination. It's a foundational principle. I agree that a certain percentage of whites have not made their peace with the change. But I can assure you, the, a clear majority of whites are committed to reconciliation. A clear majority of whites feel that, yes, their privileged position can be attributed also to policies of the past, and that therefore they should be involved in advancing the upward mobility of non-white South Africans. They should reach out. They should be prepared to do many things and to take initiatives to ensure that we build this non-racial society without personalizing it now too much. I can tell when I stop at the petrol station, a gas station, when I walk in a supermarket, when I'm on the pavement of the streets in Cape Town, I don't get hateful stares from people of color. They come to me and they pat me on the shoulder and say, thank you for what you've done. I don't see this bitterness. It's being, unfortunately, at times fomented by people with an ulterior motive.